today I am going to show you how to use Arbiter in a MongoDB sharded cluster using QDB. Here you can see a very basic basic structure of MongoDB sharded cluster where uh, Mongoose shard and config server takes place. Sharding is a method for distributing data across multiple machines and MongoDB uses sharding to support deployments with very large data sets and high throughput operation. Uh, it has uh, three fields, uh, three uh, members. The Mongoose uh, is apps, uh, actually acts as a query router providing an interface between client application and uh, the sharded cluster. But it uh, doesn't know which shard holds which chunks of data. To know this, uh, config, config server uh, can be a handy member. Config server stores the metadata and configuration settings for a sharded cluster. And uh, the metadata meta reflects the state and organ organization for all the data and components within the shard cluster. And uh, the shards are actually the data bearing node and uh, they uh, store the actual uh, data. And you can see that uh, if we enable Arbiter in the sharded MongoDB cluster, the Arbiter is actually a member of uh, the shard replica set. Here, uh, this is the shard primary, this is the shard secondary, and uh, this is the arbiter in the, uh, a, as a member of shard replica set. And uh, we can't use arbiter in a config server replica set. So uh, this is only for the shards. Today, uh, for this demonstra demonstration purpose, I have already installed kubedb. You can uh, check these links. You can go to licenseissuer.fsu.com to get the license of QDB. I'm using uh, this version here. This is the sharded cluster YML I'm going to apply today. The MongoDB uh, sharded cluster name is MGSH, which is in DB space. I'm using the 4.4.6 version. This is the arbiter port template. I'm using uh, the default port template. And uh, these are the three members, config server, mongoose, and shard. So in config server, you can see that the replica count is three. So one primary and two secondary will be there. And uh, this is the port template of each of the uh, config server ports. This is the storage of the config server ports. For mongoose, you can uh, see the replicas count is two. And uh, this is the mongoose ports port template. And uh, for shard, here you can see that uh, there is a config secret. So we can uh, set some configuration of the database using the config secret in this, uh, in this polling style. And the replica count is two. There are two shards. So uh, you can see that this is the storage spec of the shard. And the termination policy is set to Weber. And in this uh, custom config configuration secret, we have set to net uh, max incoming connection to 10,000. So let's create the secret first and then create the sharded MongoDB cluster. Let's create the secret. Uh, this is the file MongoDB conf, which actually I can show you. And this is the file. And using this file, I am uh, created. I have created the custom config secret in the DNS space. Now let's apply the shard one. I can uh, show you that also. Uh, this is the one I have applied. So uh, now it will uh, create all the ports one by one. First, all the config server and chart ports, then the mongoose ports. Uh, let's calculate how many ports will be created in uh, for this DB. Here, uh, there are three replicas of config server. So there is three ports. There are two replicas, mongoose. So three plus three is five. And here you can see that there are two shards. And in each of the shards, there are two replicas. So this two replica is actually one primary and one secondary. And as the arbiter is enabled, so there are, there will be one another replica which is arbiter. So 
in each of the shards one primary one secondary and one arbiter so three into two six six shard ports three config server ports and two mongos ports so total 11 ports will be created for this uh, mgsh mongodb let's see what is happening here you can see the config server ports are, are running correctly and these are the shard ports so after all the config server and shard ports is running the mongols will be uh, running soon let's wait for some time we can get one of the one of the yml to see if everything is okay let's see where we want to see the arbitrary ports one okay so the request is set this is the default request the cpu has been set to 500 and the memory has been set to 1 gigabyte this uh, this is the default as we have uh, shown you and we, we are using the default port package so here is the db is ready state we can now exit into one of the uh, port let's see we are uh, going to exit into shard zero port and this is the root username and password of mongodb so we are inside the shard zero primary now if we uh, run the status command of the to see the replica set status here you can see that all of the three members have been added correctly this is the secondary this is the primary and this is the arbiter so they are correctly added and each of them is in health one so they are healthy and uh, connecting to each other we can uh, also run the get cmd line ops command to show the databases max incoming connection and uh, you can see that this is set to 10 percent we have uh, already uh, set using the config secret here so each of the shard primary and secondary ports will uh, have this configuration so everything is correctly uh, working uh, thank you have a good day